last week we asked if the uh, Israelis had informed you all ahead of their West operations in the West Bank. Um, you got the department was still trying to gather more information as to what was going on or what they were doing. Do you guys have any answers or information as to what they're trying to do? Uh, thanks, Joseph. I, I don't have any uh, updates to provide as, as we highlighted in the readout that we put out uh, between in the call between Secretary Austin and Minister Gallant. Um, Secretary did convey his condolences for the three Israeli police officers that were killed in an apparent terrorist attack in the West Bank. Also, he expressed his concern over the rising tensions and the increased terrorist activity there. Um, we have, of course, made very clear from a U.S. government standpoint uh, our policy as it relates to the West Bank uh, and when it comes to uh, settler violence and, um, you know, no expansion of, of settlements. Just a second one on um, back to the Houthis. Has there, I mean, it's been about, I think, eight or nine months since the, uh, since the U.S. began strikes on Houthi targets and trying to deter <coughs> further attacks. We're continuing to see those attacks. I mean, you mentioned two tankers that were hit. We got the So Union potentially uh, spilling, uh, creating an environmental disaster. Is there any reevaluation from the department um, to potentially alter the campaign <coughs> or to change different types of military operations to further deter or to send a message uh, or degrade further these capabilities of the Houthis? Yeah, thanks. It's, it's a great question, and I can tell you that we're constantly evaluating the situation, and it goes back to what it is that we're working to do, uh, which is to preserve freedom of navigation and to degrade and disrupt uh, Houthis' capabilities. And we're doing that. We are disrupting and degrading, and you can see this in the, uh, in the press releases that CENTCOM puts out in terms of uh, degrading some of their capabilities and also taking self-defense strikes to prevent missiles from launching. Uh, that said, obviously, as evidenced by what I read out earlier, uh, some of those missiles and some of those drones are making their way through. Um, we're going to continue to work with the international community to protect those shipping lanes. Uh, but the onus is on the Houthis, again, to look at the impact that they're having, not only in the short term, but on the long term as it relates to the environment, the economy, and the, the safety of those that are transiting this important uh, waterway. So we're, we're going to continue to keep after it, uh, recognizing that, again, the strategic objective here is freedom of navigation through this vital waterway.